Hi everyone, this is my video basically giving a quick insight as to what you may expect to receive on the new Xperia S and Jellybean update that should be rolling out towards the end of April or beginning of May. So this is my Xperia S as you can see, um, I've got a carbon fibre sticker on it, carbon fibre stickers on the sides uh, which I bought off eBay, so if you want to check that out go buy that off eBay, it's only about 2-3 pounds but gives it a nice touch. So without further ado let's get into it, so booting up the Xperia S. So you have the Sony logo, this is actually running Jelly Bean. So the first thing you will see is that the boot up is very very different you have these sort of um colorful waves there we go and on the ice cream sandwich you just had the xperia logo that flashed there now, a bit more about the dates of the jelly bean rollout uh, I'm sure a lot of Xperia S users have been searching on Google, uh, you know, Xperia S Jelly Bean, when is it actually going to come out? And because a, uh, Sony Poland actually said it was going to come out in March, Sony Germany said it was going to come out beginning of April. So we've all just been, uh, you know, um, lied, not lied to, but misled and misinformed. So um, this is what you can actually expect to receive. Alright, so the first thing that I will show you is the fact that this is indeed Jelly Bean. So let me just go to settings, about phone, there we go. So we've got Jelly Bean there. Alright, so that is Jelly Bean. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you is the lock screen. Alright, now compared to the ice cream sandwich which would just slide left to right um, in sort of iPhone style, this time you get this um, beautiful sort of lock screen. You swipe up and it has this sort of blind effect that you get on the Xperia Z. You've got your music player there, camera interface there. So you swipe up to unlock and you have your home screen. So the first thing that I want to talk about with the home screen is the fact that if you long press and you swipe left and right, you can actually add and remove home screens. You remove the X, uh, add there, and you can actually designate which screen you want to be your home screen. So if you click that little house icon there, you can make this your home screen. So the widgets are very different. And if you want to add or remove widgets, you know, you do it like this it's very very different uh, and another thing that I wanted to show you is that themes if I change the theme it gives me a different lock screen it applies the theme so if I unlock it now it's a it's a different lock screen altogether and as you saw last time um, the icons at the top are purple now they're blue so the theme changes the icon colors as you can see okay and that is basically a wrap up of themes and the next thing i want to talk about is toggles at the top so previous uh, xperia s users will know on ice cream sandwich there was no toggles now you have settings data mobile wi-fi bluetooth and to toggle sound and vibrant profiles um, let me just switch bluetooth off there okay so from here you know it's just going to make life much much easier i don't know why they didn't include these there before but there you go it just makes uh, life a lot easier so at the moment i'm in airplane mode because i didn't want anybody actually ringing me or whatnot so yeah that's just toggles um it's self-explanatory really but yep that is toggles and as you can see i've got the google now bar google now is on all jelly bean devices so you will get google now um which is basically a sort it's sort of um like siri you can voice search anything and it will actually using google's voice technology will search it for you and give you results um and the other thing that i wanted to show you is the app trace it's very simple it's 
you know simplified you can sort using these categories alphabetical most used and you can uninstall from here drag to your home screen from the top put into folders which i don't want to do but yeah the album app is updated on jelly bean the walkman app is updated um so it is uh, quite a big update you know everything is very very different and the other thing that i wanted to go through is small apps so if you long press the middle button you will get these icons at the bottom so you will get a calculator timer notes and a voice recorder so you get a calculator there you can hide it and hold it on screen while it's actually multitasking which i think is fantastic and let me just show you now you might think oh you know that's not going to be useful it, it is very useful for example you get a camera app you know so you know that if you open your camera it stops your music playing so here you could actually listen to music and you know have the camera open at the same time you can zoom in uh, you can hide the camera and you're gonna have to check out the full range of small apps on the google play store um they are very very useful and that's just what small apps is basically and you will get that on the jelly bean update for the xperia s i'm not sure what other xperia mobiles are coming i think the p and the u are going to be updated to jelly bean um at the end of april hopefully beginning of may all right and the last thing that i wanted to show you was the camera interface so with the new camera interface it's basically exactly like the xperia z you get a superior auto mode oops superior auto that what um basically tells you what you're looking at so you know if you look at a document it will tell you that you're looking at a document if you're looking um at a, a close up it will tell you that it's a macro shot and you've got normal mode picture effects scene auto sweet panorama and i just wanted to show you picture mode which i think is fantastic you get these various effects so you get a nostalgic miniature, vivid filter, fisheye sketch, partial color, Harris shutter, and kaleidoscope. Now, this is my favorite. I will show you why. Uh, you can tap the screen to change the various effects. So, there you've got sketches there, which I think is absolutely fantastic. You will get that on the Jelly Bean update. So, that is the camera basically. Um, it is worth noting though that you will lose. There won't be any more 3D uh, camera on the Jelly Bean update. So on Ice Cream Sandwich had 3D capabilities. So you could take 3D pictures but on this now you can't which is a bit of the only. And that's the only complaint that I really have but. Yeah so that's been the Jelly Bean update for the Xperia S. If you've got any questions or you, if you you know want to know anything more then please leave a comment and I will answer it for you. Um, anything at all just leave a comment and i will get back to you um you know so that's it really uh that's it um all i could go through the, uh, i've see, i saw quite a lot of videos on the internet about the experience jelly bean but you know they weren't really too helpful so i hope this was um quite helpful for you and let me just now talk about the actual update itself you know we've heard quite a few times it's gonna come um in march beginning of april but you know those dates have come and gone so um just experience s users just hold on you know hang in there sony are actually doing uh, okay with the updates my experience s tablet got updated um quite quickly actually um i'm using this to record the actual video now my experience s tablet um sony did update that quite quickly so you should um expect the jelly bean update on the beginning of may or end of april sony are actually going to release an official statement so just keep out for that it's going to be released next week on the uh, community boards that they actually tell you when uh you know specific models are going to be updated so um yeah so just keep an eye out and just hang in there uh, sony do a very good job of optimizing their um, firmware so ice cream sandwich i'll admit it wasn't brilliant you know but jelly bean is very smooth i'm using um, a, um, jelly bean at the moment and it is very very smooth even this is a prototype jelly bean version it's not released officially 
it's a, a prototype version but it is very very smooth um, you know there's literally minimal no bugs so the end product should be even better so any questions just please leave a comment and um, i hope you like the video uh, thank you and have a nice day